Hi kids, let's talk about soil. Uh, hopefully by now you've already watched the video where, where I read the book called Mud. There's some kids in there having lots of fun, getting very dirty, playing in mud. Um, well, what is mud and where does it come from? Well, it's actually soil that has a lot of water mixed in it. Um, so today we're going to talk about soil um, and we're going to do a little experiment with our soil. So what is soil and what's it good for? Uh, a lot of people think of dirt and soil being the same thing. So that gives you a pretty good idea of what we're talking about when we say soil. Because soil is actually what's in the ground and dirt is what gets on you if you work with soil or, or play in it. Um, and what's it good for? Well, playing is good. Uh, also, you, there's gardening. You can grow vegetables in soil. You can use different types of soil for building, for, for making foundations for, for buildings, or uh, you can make bricks from certain types of soil. Um, and also, some types of soil are good for cleaning. Now, it's funny because normally you think of getting very dirty in soil, but some soils can help filter and clean water. Let's talk a little bit about the materials we'll be using for our project. We're going to use three different types of soil. We're going to use some glasses and some plastic cups. We'll need toothpicks uh, and some food dye. Also, we'll need some water from the faucet. Um, we start by taking the plastic cups and turning them upside down and using the um, toothpick to poke holes in them. This is so the water can drain out. Um, you've got to be careful with the toothpick because it's pretty sharp on one end. We want to put the holes in the cups and not in the fingers. So get an adult to help you with this. Um, it can be a little tricky, um, but uh, if you need to find something different to use to poke holes, that's okay. Also, feel free to just follow along and uh, watch this project. You don't have to do it for yourself. And we take this, uh, take this cup with the holes put in it and we'll place it inside another clear container. It could be a plastic cup that you use, but uh, you can also use a glass um, or whatever you have on hand. Once we've got the cups with the drain holes set inside our clear glasses, we're going to put um, one type of material in each cup. We'll start with um, some aggregate or small pebbles. Um, and then we're going to put some, uh, some loamy soil in one cup. And the third cup will be garden soil. Um, and the differences are that one, uh, the aggregate, the pebbles are just uh, a mineral soil and the loamy soil is actually mixes of clay and sand and little bits of organic material and the garden soil is mostly organic material. Um, what we're going to try to do is find out how much of the dyes that we mix in with the water will actually be absorbed into the material as the water drains through. If we take uh, bright red, uh, freshly dyed water and pour it through, um, will we get red water at the bottom or will the material draw some of the dyes out and, and will we have a lighter color at the bottom than what we pour in? So we need to set up our, our um, water with some different colors. We're going to try some different colored dyes to see maybe they react differently. Maybe the, the red will get absorbed into the soil but the blue won't or maybe the blue will but the red won't um, so we're just going to try a little of each and we're going to try some mix uh, some of them mixed together here we're actually starting with the garden soil first uh, we'll pour the red dye in and it drains through pretty quickly it doesn't take long to move through there and as you can see there is plenty 
of red dye still in the water. It doesn't seem to have changed it much at all. And when I pour the blue in, you'll see some red come out at first because I didn't start with fresh soil. But again, quickly it, it turns purple because the blue is pushing right through. The, the soil is not absorbing that blue dye. There's a shot of the dark blue. Next we have the purple, and we'll send it through. Again, this soil has not filtered the dye out of the water. The water coming out of the bottom is probably every bit as dark as it was before it went in. Next we have the aggregate or small pebbles. Now what do you think? Will the pebbles filter the dye out of the water? Let's see. Red runs right through. Red on top, red on bottom. Although it is bright red. It didn't darken it at all, it looks like, from the pebbles. Blue. Blue pours right through. Yep. And Although it did become a little purple because there was some red left over, it's dark blue at the bottom. The pebbles did not take any of the dye out of the water. Then we have the purple dye. And I didn't even bother to dump out all of the blue water. So it's not very scientific. But again, the dyed water quickly runs through and it's quite dark. You can see the aggregate or pebbles are not a good soil for filtering water. Um, and we're right into the, the loamy soil. The loamy soil is interesting because as you see it's bright red on top but when it's coming out of the bottom it's kind of a creamy orange red which makes me think well, maybe that loamy soil is filtering a little bit of the color out. Interesting. I wonder what it is about that soil that helps it filter the, um, the dye. As you can see, it's still quite red. It only filtered a little. What will it do with the blue? It seems to me it's doing the same thing with the blue. Obviously, there's blue water down at the bottom, but it's not dark, dark blue. It's more of a lighter blue. Um, so maybe there's something to this. Maybe soil does work as a filter. Okay, so we tried three different types of soil. The aggregate, the uh, garden soil, and the loamy soil. Um, and we didn't see much of a change in the color, except for the loamy soil, which did seem to filter out a little of the coloring from the dye. But here's what happened. At this point, I got pretty discouraged about the results. I expected to see something more dramatic, and I called the test a failure, and I went and took a nap and went and played some video games for a while. Uh, and I talked to my friend about it, and he reminded me of something I had thought of before I started. There was another type of soil in my backyard that I hadn't uh, that I hadn't tested with you guys, um, and so I thought I'd give it another shot. So we've got one more test of a different type of soil, and this is. Actually, it's ash and coal. Um, it's what's left over when organic matter has been burned. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. So here it is. This is ash and coal from my backyard. 
and I'm adding some blue dyed water to it. And this actually settled through very slowly. I had to speed up the video a lot to show you the water trickling through. Now you look at that water and you tell me how much blue you see. Do you see any blue at all? Now here it is with the purple mixture. Again, we'll speed it up so you can see it drain through. And it's amazing to me, the water comes out almost clear. It's got a little bit of a gray tinge from the ash. But you don't see purple, you don't see red, you don't see blue. We found a soil type that actually does work as a filter, which is pretty amazing. Now, it's filtered some dye out, but I wouldn't go so far as to say that you want to drink it. Probably not.